Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another cast with Trent following Tyson. All right, so um, this year, let's focus on, well, this month. I know we've missed January. I didn't miss January. It was a good month for me in January. Um, like I was telling you guys before, a lot of people, the thing about trend following, good trend following is that you develop this gut and this knack, so to speak, for, um, you know, being able to stay in where you shouldn't be. And a lot of that is position sizing. If you have a position that's too big, you're probably going to, every time it fluctuates, you're going to be looking to get out and things like that. So you want to have a decent position size. So, but um, it was a decent month for me trend following. I know a lot of people were talking about a bearish market, but what I always say is that eventually on the chart, there's going to be a point where you're going to look back and say, I probably should have been buying there. And that's what I already knew and kind of understood from these charts, looking at them when uh, there was a lot of bearish behavior and a lot of bearish sentiment and speech and such like that. I mean, I was in cash most most of my position most of the time and I'm still am playing very um cautious with my risks but yeah I was just I just kind of figured those will be buying points and then if you look back at the charts now some of those points you should have been buying in and then it come up in some of the charts we're looking at those were actually points that you should be buying in not points that you should be you know fear and fear of and worried about markets crashing and things like that um, so we'll get into that, but let's, let's, let's make the big move. You guys, let's not, let's, if we're going to be trend followers, let's be good trend followers and let's not miss that big move. Okay. So let's jump into the, let's jump into a quote here from Richard Jennings. The market being in trend is the main thing that eventually gets us in a trade. That is a pretty simple idea. Being consistent and making sure you do that all the time is probably more important than the, any, than the particular characteristic you use to define the trend. The market being in a trend is the main thing that gets us in a trade. That is a pretty simple idea. We have to be consistent and make sure we do that all the time. All right. Whatever method you use to enter trades, the most critical thing is that if there is a trend, if there is a major trend, your approach should assure that you get in that trend. So we know the major trends, okay, regardless of what the speech is in the markets. We know the major trends because we can obviously look at them and evaluate them. OK, we can obviously look at them and see them. And when we notice these big trends, we need not to be ignoring them. We need to be catching these moves. All right. So let's be good trend followers and not and not miss the big move. All right. So let's jump into. Uh, let's go ahead and get into business here and jump into these charts. So. All right. There's quite a few, quite a few different trends, uh, but let's just get into what matters right now, okay? So, of course, AU. Um, I was looking at this thing. Probably you guys know this. I was long on this thing from uh, back about two months ago or something like that. But saw it breaking out over this area here, and then seen it kind of just making this move and stayed long. I still have a I still have a nice position here and I'm not too much worried about wasn't too much worried that goes back to that position sizing. I wasn't worried about all the fluctuations because overall strength, especially back when the market was really bearish back here. This was one of the only stocks that was kind of still holding its uh, trend up and making higher highs and lows and just had really nice price action. And just look what this thing's done since then when we were looking at it breaking over 1050. So AU looking really good in this gold thing. And kind of when it pulled back here, look at that rally just continued to go in beast mode. Remember, this whole time right here was back when we were in a quote unquote bearish market. This whole area here from, sep from September until currently now. This was when we were in a quote unquote bearish market. This was one of the longs that I was depending on and actually helped me uh, get through that little time there. But this was one of the longs I had. And uh, just kind of like I said, you'll look back and see points on the chart where you should have been actually riding them long instead of listening to people talking about a bearish market and things like this. You got to trade your own trade your own course. So we're at new 52s here. AU just continues to be a beast in gold. Uh, it depends on, it depends on what stocks you're looking at when it comes to gold. But I mean, if you're going to look at some of those winners in gold, there are some winners over there. All right. Let me show you guys something about AES. 
I remember this thing back when uh back uh when it was you know the market was starting to misbehave and this thing's still turning up pretty well here so aes just looking like one of the better stocks all right remember what i was telling you guys looking back at parts on this on the chart where you should have been buying okay these were some of the bearish this was back when this was another reliable stock when things were quite quite bearish so to speak uh had a pullback here and as you guys know you buy these pullbacks um, had a really big one here and then once this thing covered as you know if you're in an up if, if if the trend is an overall uptrend okay let me just say something really quick if the trend of course is if you're of course this is an uptrend this is relates back to what i was just saying about with richard dennis of course we're in an uptrend look at it so what if we're pulling back here right and you know that we're in an uptrend when we start setting higher highs above these points, these low points, these last bars, we start knocking these out. These are your clues to get long when price action, because, you know, we're in an uptrend. You know, this the pattern tends to pull back and set higher highs over the last ones. So when you, you, you just have to go with what the chart is doing. So there it is there. You're supposed to buy those higher highs and AES still one of the better stocks and has totally knocked out these uh, these uh, resistance levels where they pulled back and kind of boom all right so enough said there with aes if you guys like to only buy new 52s if you only like to ride sh stocks within their top right corner that's fine uh i kind of like to get on more valuable points inside the chart kind of like to let for price action force me in or out and uh, i would have been probably buying here and letting price force me or buying this breakout of these areas and letting price force me out if we came back down here so aes um agent i'm long on if you look at bar chart this is one of the better stocks you guys please check out my buddy lucid trend following he has some good criteria i'll probably put it in the description here i'm long agent i kind of started buying it back here in this 250 space uh challenge asking price to challenge and knock me out over here back when things were bearish quote unquote um we start knocking out higher highs, so I'm just sitting tight here. As you see the stock pulling back, kind of res resorting back to what it normally does. Just look at what this chart does. It pulls back and sets higher highs, pulls back, and we got green here. So I'd like to imagine this could be a nice stopping point here at this 322. And then uh, let this stock bump you out, but it looks like we're getting ready to repeat what we've been doing here. And this is my favorite pattern, that rounding bottom. Uh, kind of found a bottom here found a bottom and price is starting to round and starting to push back to the upside So I like a gen of course and I'm long that thing. All right AQA AQUA look good when I was checking out some things yesterday and uh, looks really good. Let's see why AQUA all right, so curling down here at the bottom of this structure knocking out some prices knocked out this uh, Attempting to knock it kind of knocked out this 10 45 this 10 80 75 high up here. So we're already inside this bar here. Okay prices may be reversing. Let's see what happens there <coughs> This reminds me of G gal uh, I'm long G gal and this kind of looks similar and I kind of played it the same way It just started knocking out higher highs and lows down there and I said, okay enough is enough time for me to get long I've watched price reverse enough and I'll take you and show you some of that G gal stuff All right, so I'm long G gal anybody on my Twitter knows and I've been uh, trading this thing. So uh, started buying this thing when it started breaking out over here, 26.50, 25.50. And uh, now I'm sitting tight and kind of max my whole position out when we broke over this 29, 28.50. And uh, so I'm sitting tight and enjoying that whole thing. And we're at 36 and change. We've got over the 200 day moving average, guys. I've been watching this thing for a while when it just started bouncing back here up, having a consistent higher highs and lows. And I saw this price reverse and look just looks just looks just like AQA. I mean the stock we just looked at, Aqua, so to speak. And uh just goes to show you sometimes if you see price reversing, having higher highs and lows, don't question price, just trade price. All right. So uh the 20 carrying this thing, uh the 20 day moving average carrying this thing right over right into the in the carrying price right up into the 200 and the 200 probably going to start carrying this thing and we just closed above the 200 that's really good stuff you guys from me following from following a stock back here just following price action nowhere near the 200 day moving average but actually just following price following the pattern trusted in your process trusting that the higher highs and lows are what they are and boom we're a fine we are over the 200 day moving average guys a lot this 
this sends off a lot of signals for like institutions and uh, algorithm and algorithm traders and things like that. A close over the 200 will send a lot of triggers out. And then plus and then plus this 200 and the 20 getting ready to cross. And when those moving averages cross, that also brings out a lot of uh, triggers and algos and things like that. So GGAL looking like one of the better stocks that you should have been buying when you instead of listening to all the 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 noise and stuff out there this this thing was having higher highs and lows you guys the whole time that everyone was misbehaving and crying about all these other things and let me do a quick let me do a quick justice on this thing give you guys some levels really fast sorry i didn't give you guys levels on the other stuff you guys been trained with me long enough so here we are beautiful uptrend here just bouncing and bouncing off this 20 day moving average uh Woo, we look really good here. Of course, on the three month, it's already over the two. Man, we look really good here, guys. We look really good here. All right. If you wanted to get long on this thing now, you can trust price because it's bouncing off the 20 and having higher highs and lows. Okay. So uh, some some really good trend following going on here. That's a G gal. Let's go ahead and man, I'm, I'm enjoying longs in G gal, you guys. I, I'm going to be totally honest. I'm really enjoying longs on that thing. All right, so happy trend following on that. Uh, let's look at AX. All right, let's see how we look with this AX. All right, so obvious reverse in price here. Let's step, back, step back and get a clear picture when we look at this yearly. All right, obviously we're reversing in price, bouncing off the bottom, having higher highs, and we're up in here to knock this out. I just want to see what price is going to do when it gets here. If we can knock this level out, then we can definitely head up for some continuation. But uh, you've seen this thing curling back here, kind of knocking out prices, having higher highs and lows. And Let's see how far this thing can go. AX looks halfway decent. Uh, let's see if I got this thing right. Uh, the chart will let me know. I don't know if this is BECN or BELN. Chart will let me know once I get a look at how we're doing here. Yeah, this is it. Okay, so a nice looking thing here on BECN. It's not that I'm trying to catch tops and bottoms. I'm just trying to catch price and I'm trying to give myself a decent risk to reward ratio in case things start turning around here. Okay, I'm already up 10 points on GGAL, about 10 points on GGAL. G G G A L. Okay, so higher highs and lows here. This thing looking quite wonderful. Uh, decent price action here. Just, just. Uh, I, I love to see price kind of knowing where it wants to go and what it wants to do. Higher highs and lows here, and uh, we're looking decent on BECN. I like for you guys to take a long on that thing. We already broke out above these levels here. Uh, see what happens. Take a long on that thing, and uh, see where it goes. All right. Good trend following to me is all about just buying price getting a ride on that catching a ride on the bus basically and not kind of questioning price just waiting for that bus to come along and getting your ride on it so uh right, let's skip that i don't like the way that looks billy another really good long uh, i know quite a few good trend followers that i've learned a lot from that are even riding this thing now and i've been watching this thing from way you guys remember this stock on the show can't tell me you don't remember it because we've looked at it way back in October and November, probably even back in September. But anyways, uh, just these consistent higher highs and lows here. This these was really the buy parts that I was looking to buy in. That's an overall look at the trend, guys. I like to pan, pan out on that yearly time frame and get a look at what's really going on. But here's something inside a six month time frame. So as you see, price is uh, just moving moving a well quite moving along quite well so i'd wait for this thing to finish pulling back and then take along it looks like some green starting to come in there look like some buyers starting to know that this that we're in a clear up trend and they're starting to buy price all right so people that are probably looking to get a ride on this thing so uh clear we're in a clear up trend uh wait to see what how far this thing pulls back what levels it comes back to and then take along on that thing just wait and see what happens with billy b-i-l-i CRON looks like a really good long. I think I've seen some guys on Twitter talking about it, but I, you know, I don't take signals based on what people on Twitter are talking about. I take signals based on price action and what a stock look like, what a stock looks like on a chart, and what kind of risk to reward we're looking at. Okay, never off of just uh, what I hear on Twitter, even though it's it's reluctant and it's pretty good. Just, it's you know a good sight to see some good trend followers and other people like that following uh, good trends and stuff, but. 
Let's see what's going on with this cron. All right. So you guys remember that quote from Richard Dennis? That's some beautiful stuff. All right. Here, go, here we go. It goes to show you when price is in an uptrend, don't question it. Just take it long. And uh, I like to take price when I kind of see this this angle here, this structure, this kind of two o'clock trajectory. When I see a stock just uh, kind of overall making a bend, so to speak, and I just start getting long. That's a good sign. And uh, you were supposed to buy this thing here when you noticed that we were in an uptrend and price started to kind of get this trajectory going here. You were supposed to get long when we broke over these things and in these areas and smart buyers coming in here and buyers coming in here. No, obviously understanding that we're in a clear uptrend and boom, price just taking off. Cron, uh, I don't know, it may may start getting late for you guys to take, take a long on that. That's why you don't let good, uh, good trends pass you up and you just, you know, twiddling your thumbs. Uh, see what happens on see what happens on uh, the next trading session and buy this thing if if price uh, can hold this level and stop yourself out below twenty. All right, maybe even nineteen forty five. All right, give yourself some room for that thing to wiggle. All right, because it may get make it hasn't been too volatile though, hasn't been too volatile. It's been just pretty decent to the upside. Look at that trajectory in the last month, guys. Don't question price. Take price. Look what we've done in the last month. Decent higher highs and lows. This is my favorite little structure here. And when when I pan in, when I look and see we're in an overall uptrend, and I pan in, I start tightening up time frames. And I notice this two o'clock trajectory. I just get long, and I don't question price. I just get long. We've covered almost a hundred percent, or fifty or percent, or something like that in the last month from eleven to twenty-two. All right. So uh, don't question price, guys. You guys need to learn that. Don't you don't need people to verify uh, what we're doing here? AMSC. Yeah, I just wanted to take a look at this thing and see how it was holding up. One of the better longs. Man, that that cron looked really wonderful when you break that time frame down. Here goes AMSC. Still looks kind of like cron, just not as thick, but same trajectory here and a clear uptrend. And I'd like that thing long, guys. Take that thing long and stop yourself out. Let's see what happens when trading sessions open up. But I like to. I, I, I would have liked to buy it here at 13 and then start writing it up, okay, and stop myself out below 1250. Kind of late for that. I'm just showing you guys what's out here, though. All right, so I like this thing long now. Stop yourself out below this gap up, all right, 1325, 1315, okay, AMSC. Guys, with us having these little losers and these big giant, big giant winners, like um, the one I'm long on now, best winner of the year so far, G Gal. I mean, buying that thing at 25 and it's at current price, buying it at 25 and 26.50 and totally maxing my position out at 28.50, um, you know, up almost 10 points. I mean, when we have losers, losers like at a, at a point or so or 50 cents and things like that, I mean, that's going to be nowhere compared to the winners that we're going to be laying down, especially if you're calculating your 1% risk in QTN, QTNT. Uh, let's get an overall look at the trend here see why we're buying this thing like richard said if we're in a clear up trend you, you don't question price you just get long so here's here, here's in the yearly you see where price is going and what price is doing and don't question it just take it long and when you've seen it we're in a clear up trend here start to pull back maybe this was in this whole uh bearish uh so to speak time behavior and we just started uh rallying higher highs and lows when i notice higher highs and lows on breaking in on themselves I don't sometimes I'm I, I don't, not worried about this area. I'm just worried not the left side necessarily, but even though when we start breaking over key areas, but I'm looking at this to see what price action in itself is starting to do to itself. And when you see price action starting to break above and set and close above itself, you start taking it long. OK, so we're already above this knocked everything over to the left here, everything over to the left. We knocked over all this stuff, knocked all this over. OK. Now we're up here at new 52s, okay? So QTNT, looking good. If you're one of those new guys that only buys 52-week highs, go ahead and take a look at that QTNT, okay? I'm not a guy that only buys 52-week highs. I like to kind of surf and get in treacherous waters and start buying things and pullbacks and start just buying price when I notice uh, some strength coming in and a nice 2 o'clock trajectory. I kind of just like to start buying price and letting it take me where it's wherever it's going to go and start seeing what we can fulfill, okay? So uh, we're almost done here. I've got a few more tickers that we're going to look at. Running a little bit slow on this dang thing. Uh, I don't know why this is on my chart. Maybe, uh, I don't know. We just had a clear reversal, though, in price. 
down, 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 down. And whenever you notice something like this, a clear bottom and that big V and price starting to close. Remember I said, don't you don't have to necessarily only worry about what we're doing. When you notice price reversing and starting to close above itself, close above itself every day, close above itself. That's a clear sign to get long. OK, take those longs. Of course, re manage your risk and stop yourself out. Of course, you had a good trend line here that said, all right, if we start closing below this trend line area here, then I'm out. But you never got closed out and that beautiful stuff there. OK, so uh, EGOF just totally you had a long time for to understand what price was doing. It obviously reversed on itself. OK. And you had a long time, and if you would have got long and started enjoying those, you would have had enjoyed a very nice uh, move up here, you know, 20% or something like that. Just a very nice price. Just see, we got into this level here. We worked our way all the way back up into this area, and price totally reversed. See this long candle? Remember I said sometimes price reversed on itself, and it doesn't make logical sense, but price, why would you reverse down here and clearly, but... This is like a trigger, okay? And the trigger was here, and we reversed through this candle, and now we to price has totally reversed itself. Maybe uh, I would like to assume that we'll clear this and keep heading for the moon. So EGOV looking good. Uh, just teaching you guys a really ass-kicking lesson and trend following. Don't question those kind of prices. Just get long. Jesus, that looks wonderful. And Bev has this thing going on with, I don't know, I don't follow news, that kind of news. I just follow price. But looks like it could start clearing up some more space here. I've been seeing some really good, consistent higher highs and lows uh, every day in the charts. Just green, 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 green. Kind of looking a lot like that EGOV uh, as far as what it's doing in price. Okay, so uh, Bev just, jeez, just beast mode. Okay, uh, buy price. Don't Don't question it. Uh, we'll break down a level and see what it's doing here. Look at the overall. Look at that. It just looks like a giant, giant triangle there. Okay, just a giant triangle there. Buy that, guys. We're, we're, I'd like to assume that we'll start breaking out above this area here. Okay, and start uh, kicking some ass. So Embev looking like a really good long. Um, okay. I'm just trying to make some sense of this chart. All right, that's enough. All right, give me some time. Come on, come on, come on. Well, you know what? Well, obviously, we're struggling with this thing. Okay. That looks horrible anyway. Anyways, you guys get the picture. NBAV. Uh, looking halfway decent now. I don't know why we're struggling with this thing here. All right. So, obvious we're in a clear up trend. And uh, at the top part of this level, of, I'd assume it'd be breaking out soon and kind of riding above what it did this whole year. So in the sixth month, you kind of get a really good picture. Just look at this trajectory just to clear up trend. So don't question price. Just take it long. And I think we get over these soon. Uh, take your longs and uh, stop yourself out below price. OK, let's say 650. Give yourself some wiggle room. I don't think they will be closing that low, but 650 looks pretty decent. And uh Sorry about that little glitch we had there. All right, so take your longs, manage your risk, but ride your trends, have some guts, don't have too much position size, don't have too too much a large position in there. That way you're worried about every wiggle that we make, but ride these big moves and don't question price, guys, okay? Uh, happy 2019. Let's be the best trend followers we can be. Ride the, ride the correct stocks, okay? All right. Take the signals that we're supposed to take, and man, it's been a good year. Um, I'm long aging. I'm long uh, got some BILI. 
I have some uh, a huge position, not a really huge position, but a larger position in GGAL. And i um, looking to probably take some more longs and open some things up here. But we're in a clear up train, you guys. So take your longs and sit tight. All right. See you guys here very soon next week.